welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing amazing so let's see today's daily challenge and try to solve it together okay so we have reordered power of 2 so you the problem statement is very simple to understand you are given an integer n and you need to reorder the integers in such a way that uh, the starting digit is not zero okay so you need to reorder any number and you need to return true if you can reorder the number to something uh, that the resulting number is a power of 2 okay so you just need to so i hope this is cl uh, quite clear so an ex simple example can be something like 4 2 1 0 okay so if this number you can reorder this number to something like 1 0 2 4 okay and that is nothing but 2 to the power 10 which is a power of 2 okay so answer will be true in this case otherwise the answer should have been false if uh, you had something like um, 420 okay so if you had something like 420 you cannot reorder it to power of 2 and hence the answer will be false so i hope that was clear i hope that was quite clear to you and so yeah let's try to understand first and approach is very simple okay so let's say you have something like uh, you want to have a number okay you have the digits representation you want to reorder it and make it power of two two to the power something okay and you want to check whether it is possible or not but but one thing is quite clear to you that the power of two is quite limited okay to the power x this number is actually very limited there are very limited number in the range so what is the range here the range of 9 is 1 in 9 okay n is 1 in 9 so you see uh till how much you can go you can have 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 all the way till let's say 2 to the power 30 okay so i guess to 1 1 in 9 will go up to 2 to the power 30 only not more than that so you have only these many numbers so in other words you can reframe the question and say that whether n can be re the digits of n can be reordered and made something in this set okay because there are only 31 elements in this set and you just need to check whether among all these 31 elements only your uh, n can be reordered okay so how can you just reorder them so one thing is very uh, similar okay so uh, how can you check whether two numbers if re with reordering of digits are equal or not okay so let's try to have some example like four zero two one okay and you also have something like one four two zero so now you see that reordering of digits we can give the same number in both of these okay one zero two four uh, but how will you understand that what you can do you can let's say convert this integer to a string first thing you can do this you can just convert this integer to a string and what you can do is just sort the string okay uh, if you sort it you will be left with one zero zero one two four and you just sort it there also you will be remaining with one zero one two four so uh, you see what happened is that uh, if you sorted the two strings okay which are uh, different but if you can rearrange them to make the same number you will get the exact same number every time okay so what you can do is that uh, you can while uh, i mean while uh, iterating through all the sets of the of the all the elements of this set you can convert this into string and then sort them also you can convert this uh, n to string and again sort them and again check okay then these two sorted values is if you just check whether these are equal or not okay if they are equal uh, then you return true otherwise at the end you always return false so i hope uh, this is a very trivial approach i guess not at all difficult approach and uh, in fact very easy to understand also this approach so uh, let's try to just code it out it, it, it is quite simple okay it is very very simple so at first i will just write a function which will take a number and return the sorted integer so a sorted value of this okay so let's have a function which will return a string and let's call it give sort why because uh let's take an integer x and it will return as a sorted string and so i can just convert this x to two string of x okay so this is a function in c plus uh, which converts an integer to a string 
and i hope if you are doing in some other languages you would also know something which converts an integer to a string there is a direct function so uh, you can just google it out so what you can do is that you can just sort it now okay so you will have something like x dot begin and uh and the dot end so you have a sorted value right now and you can just return the answer okay so this will always take an integer and return the answer so uh let's have a string target okay let's say not uh yeah let's have a target string which will uh just take this and convert to a sorted string so it gives me the target with whom i want to compare to now as i told you there are only uh 31 such values so you can just go with one by one and check each one of them okay so what you can do you can generate power of two so you know that one left shift i this means actually this means two to the power i i hope uh, you know all this so one left shift i this means two to the power i so i am just uh, going through all the powers of two one by one and just passing it into the give sort function so it will give me a string it will give me a string sorted string and i will just check whether these two are equal or not whether this is equal to the target okay so if it is equal then what will happen is very simple is that it will just give me a return true otherwise it will simply return me false okay so if any app in any of the 31 cases if any of in any of the 31 cases you are just getting that uh, this is true then return true otherwise if you don't get in any of them it means that your rearranged number cannot ever be a power of two so you can just simply return false so i hope uh, this was a very straightforward as simple as well as short approach okay so i'm just directly trying to submit it and check if there is any error of or it just works fine so you see we do have a hundred percent runtime complexity also so it is quite a good solution you can say another possible solution of this which i tried in the beginning so i will just go to the submissions and show you uh, but it is not a very good approach okay so that's why i did not tell you what you can do instead of sorting if this does not come to your mind you can do a map okay so you can go through all the numbers all the powers of two okay so x is the power of two here you are generating a map okay so you are just changing the power of two to a string and just generating a map okay and you are creating a vector of maps so it this vector consists of all the maps of all the numbers which are powers of two so uh, this vector is pre-processed first and then you uh, create another map okay in which you convert this n to string and then to the map now you want to check among all these vectors you just go through the maps of all these vectors one by one and check whether both of the maps are equal and then only return true otherwise return false so i hope you understand this approach also no need to do it but you should definitely know different types of approaches so how can you do this without sorting and by map also uh, let's say you have some number like four four zero two one and four one four zero something like that okay and you want to check whether reordering these two will make this give me the same number so you can create a map okay let's say map one which will have something like key comma value pair so the frequency of let's say zero is one frequency of one is one frequency of two is one frequency of four is two and if you just calculate a similar way you can cal if you just calculate the frequency map in just similar way in another map two you will also get the same thing okay you just check it out you will also get the same thing and you just check whether these two maps are exactly equal or not so that's what i'm doing here i'm just checking whether these two maps are equal uh, then you return true otherwise you return false but this gives you a very low runtime complexity because it's a map and map has an login solution of uh, i mean putting into it okay so uh, you can do unordered map to get a better time complexity, but unnecessary the data and extra data structure that is that which you can easily avoid in this approach. Okay, so I hope uh, both of the solutions was clear to you. Okay, so yeah, that's all I guess. It's a medium easy kind of problem for today, and I hope your day goes really easy. Thank you so much.